Borada, welcome to the InstaSim channel. Today I'm playing Ratchet and Clank 3 once again. In the last episode, we did all the quid comics up until this point. So we've done 2, 3, and 4. We got two titanium bolts for it, which is quite ideal. And now we're off to Metropolis. The suit of armor is available at the Gadgetron Armor Vendor. Ooh. Man, I need to drop a few pounds so I can squeeze into that new Aegis Mark V battle suit. That thing uses sub-quantum gravity singularities to produce a phase-shift inversion field. See for yourself at the armor vendor. Well, let's have a look. I've got 104,000 bolts, so let's see how much it costs. Uh, oh, that's the new one. That's the 250,000 bolts one. This one's 60,000 bolts. Adamantine is one of the hardest substances in the galaxy. Absorb at least 50%. What armor do we already have? Uh, gadgets. No. Items. Magna plate. So we've got 33% coverage. And the next one does 50%. So I think that's an improvement. What does this one do? AI responds automatically to any attack, redistributing power and angling the armor plates to absorb up to 66% of incoming damage. Ooh. Well, we'll do the 60,000 power one because why not? 60,000 bolts, well, not pounds. Because that at least helps us a little bit. <laughs> a seven? Oh, that's terrible. Right, let's fly off to Metropolis. It's already started. Doctor Nefarious must be around here somewhere. You sure everything's okay, Clank? Maybe Al should take a look at your circuitry. How do you like my special creation, Clank? I call him Clunk. Your dopey friend seems to be quite fond of him. Say, maybe they'll change your show to Secret Agent Clunk! <laughs> Did you hear that, Lawrence? You put the wit in twit, sir. Yes, I do. Don't die. <laughs> Today, you will witness the dawning of a new era. For years, I plotted in secret, suffering endless disappointments. But soon, it will all be worthwhile. You will never succeed. Ratchet will put an end to your madness. The only ending in Ratchet's future is the end of his own life. <laughs> And you will have a front row seat! <laughs> oh dear, I think Doctor Affairs has gone a little bit cuckoo. <laughs> right, what have we not leveled up to version 4 yet? Well, obviously the Age of Doom, so we can use them. <laughs> Hooray! Skill point. Right. Thank you. 
Ah oh, yes, okay, this is the way we go. Oh god, there's... Uh... Hold on. Oh boy, this is not good. Ha oh, ha! Oh. That was lucky. Right, that is the Insomniac Museum thing, but we can't go there because obviously we have to set our PlayStation 2 back to a certain time. And I'm not doing that today. It already thinks it's like the 3rd of March 2000 for some reason, so eh. Which is quite ironic actually, because that was before this game was even released. But yeah, anyway. Oh, don't do that. Oh, that was bad. Right, there's nothing there, that's fine. Oh, no. Uh, that's only on version 3. I don't think this is really working all that well. Yeah, that was going to happen. To be fair, I could have just used the Annihilator against it as well because... I still not reached version 4 yet. <laughs> Wait, it didn't actually do anything to the nanotech thing on that? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Agents of Doom. Okay, that didn't work. Go, my little lovelies. Oh. Hooray! Oh, no. <laughs> right, I am going to defeat these guys here for one simple reason. Something, sir. The activation device! Now! Behold the final chapter of this galaxy's destiny. The Age of Robots! You are a robot lover! Make my hot clubs go zap, zap! Zap with your love. <laughs> Lawrence! Oh dear, that was your audition for Galactic Idol, wasn't it? Mm, my mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. By all means, sir. Carry on.
There we go. Uh, because we killed them in first time, it means that we don't have to kill them now. Oh dear. I don't like this. Oh, that was close. Too close. Yeah, otherwise we'd have to kill them as robots and then a bit harder to kill as robots, but, you know, we've killed them once. That's fine. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Go, my little lovelies. Oh, okay. Damn it! Ah, oh, they're back now. Get them. Oh, well. So close. Damn it. I hate this. Yeah, that's really close to version five, and that's annoying. Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, forget it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this is so close to version 5 as well, and I hate it so much. Ah! Okay, not he's not flying anymore. Hooray! Uh, hooray! We've even got that to version 3. Right.
There you go. I believe more enemies come in a minute. Oh, that was stupid. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, there's them as well. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Ugh. Why did I choose this as a catch? Why am I strafing? Two button on my controller is buggered, so it either strafes, locks, or doesn't <laughs> strafe at all. Right. Oh, you've got to be joking! Right, I'm gonna call that quits there for now because I am having, I'm being annoyed by this. Uh, in the next episode, I'm gonna try and get through to the end. This is ridiculous. Right. So, in this episode we flew to Metropolis, so we're about halfway through, and in the next episode hopefully we'll get to the end. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Rush to the Clack 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. That'll be your last when you get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook, my YouTube, and on Twitch, and I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, goodbye.